To try to protect his world from imminent destruction, Deadpool decides to seek help from the deceased Wolverine. Since Logan is a mutant with a great healing ability, Wade believes he might still be alive. However, when he digs him up, he only finds the mutant's remains and starts beating them with a shovel and cursing him because he was his last hope. Later, we see him calmer, now talking to Logan's skeleton. Minutes later, a group of TVA agents appears to arrest him for crimes against the sacred timeline. Without hesitation, Deadpool uses Wolverine's adamantium bones as a weapon to attack the enemies. Alone, Deadpool eliminates all the soldiers sent to capture him and finally kicks Wolverine's skull away. Then, new agents appear through portals, and upon seeing them, Deadpool decides to continue the attack to get rid of them all once and for all. He then ties Wolverine's adamantium claws to his wrists and uses them as weapons to defeat the remaining agents. Suddenly, we go back a few months to when Wade decided he wanted to join the Avengers. After a life of crime and becoming the mercenary known as Deadpool, Wade decides to lead a righteous life to win back his girlfriend because his greatest fear was losing Vanessa. However, when Happy, Tony Stark's former personal driver and now an Avengers employee, realizes that Wade wants to join the superhero team for selfish reasons, he states that he cannot accept him into the group. Six months after being rejected, Wade begins to rebuild his life and works at a dealership with Peter, who knows he is Deadpool, one of the few people who know this. On Wade's birthday night, Peter accompanies him to his house, where the ex-mercenary receives a surprise party. That night, Wade enjoys spending time with his friends, including Vanessa, now his ex-girlfriend. Despite not getting over the end of the relationship, Wade is happy with Vanessa and his friend's presence because this is one of the rare times he is with everyone he loves. After blowing out the candle and making his wish, Wade hears someone knocking on the door and goes to answer it. At that moment, he meets TVA agents and tries to find out who they are, but before he could ask any questions, one of the agents rips off his wig while the other drags him into a portal. Taken against his will to the TVA headquarters, Wade meets Paradox, who explains that all the company's employees are responsible for protecting the sacred timeline. Paradox reveals the real reason Wade is there and says he was chosen for a great purpose. He states that if Deadpool works for him, he can finally join the Avengers in the future. Hearing this, the anti-hero immediately accepts the deal and rushes to the tailor's room to get a new uniform before starting the mission. Wade asks Paradox to send him back home to share the news with his friends. At this moment, he discovers the truth, by making the deal with the TVA, Deadpool can never return home because his universe will be reset in 72 hours, and all the people he loves will cease to exist. When asked why, Paradox explains that when a universe loses its anchor, it starts to disintegrate slowly. In Wade's universe, this anchor was Wolverine, who sacrificed himself to save a group of mutant children, including his daughter Laura. Instead of waiting for the natural death of this universe, which would occur in a few thousand years, Paradox decided to build a machine to destroy it all at once. After revealing his true intentions, he says Wade has two options, join the sacred timeline and fulfill his dream of being part of the Avengers, or be destroyed along with his friends. Deadpool chooses a third option. After striking Paradox, he steals the temp pad to open a portal back home. Believing Wolverine might still be alive, Wade digs him up but confirms the death of the only man who could save his world. After eliminating all the TVA agents sent to capture him, Deadpool decides to embark on a journey to find another Logan and convince him to help save his friends. Traveling through different parallel universes, Deadpool encounters several versions of Wolverine and tries to convince one of them to help him in this mission. However, all the Logans he meets try to eliminate him, including one who looks a lot like Henry Cavill. After having his body pierced dozens of times by adamantium claws, Deadpool finally finds an alcoholic version of Wolverine who also refuses to help. Knowing that his options are running out, Wade doesn't hesitate to take him to the TVA headquarters and tries to convince Paradox to replace the old Wolverine with a new one. However, Paradox states that this substitution cannot be made. Wade insists on speaking to whoever is in charge and, at that moment, discovers that Paradox intends to carry out that operation without his boss's consent and threatens him to avoid losing his position. Paradox decides to reset the mercenary and then do the same with Wolverine before he causes any trouble. Upon encountering Deadpool, Logan vents all his fury, as he was taken from his universe against his will and is now trapped in an unknown place. Wade retaliates and unloads his pistol cartridges into Wolverine's ribs. The fight continues and Wolverine uses his claws to destroy Deadpool's weapons, who then uses his swords to block the blows. 
During the duel, Wolverine is hit several times, and Deadpool's swords remain stuck in his body. Now that his rival is more vulnerable, Logan prepares to rip his head off, but Deadpool manages to convince him to join him. Even without knowing Wolverine's past, Wade imagines that he must have suffered a great loss to be so bitter and promises that if the mutant helps him return to the TVA headquarters, he will convince Paradox to fix his universe. The conversation is interrupted by Captain America, who informs them that the real enemies are approaching. Seeing one of his favorite superheroes right in front of him, Deadpool gets emotional, but when Chris Evans starts catching fire, he realizes it is actually Johnny Storm from the Fantastic Four. When the Human Torch uses his powers to try to eliminate the enemies, Pyro manages to block the attack and absorb all the fire. After losing his powers, Johnny falls to the ground, and Sabretooth appears to attack his brother. When the duel is about to begin, Deadpool removes the sword stuck in Wolverine's body, believing it will be an epic battle. However, as soon as the fight starts, Logan makes the first attack and rips off his opponent's head. Realizing he won't be able to capture the two, Pyro decides to use a giant magnet to imprison Wolverine, and Deadpool ends up getting stuck as well. Then, both are tied up inside a cell with Johnny and taken to Cassandra Nova's hideout, the twin sister of Professor Charles Xavier. Upon meeting Cassandra, Deadpool recounts all the terrible things Johnny said about her during the trip, and the mutant decides to eliminate him. Cassandra explains that she was sent to that place before she even learned to walk, and her brother never looked for her. Hearing the woman speak ill of his deceased friend, Wolverine tries to attack her but ends up having his body sunk into the ground. Then, Cassandra invades Wade's mind to investigate his greatest vulnerabilities and discovers that he was recently rejected by the person he loved most. When Cassandra exits his mind, Deadpool distracts her so that Wolverine can stab her with his claws. To the duo's surprise, Cassandra easily escapes the attack and summons Alioth to devour them. Seeing the purple cloud approaching, Wolverine and Deadpool hitch a ride on a flying device and manage to escape. The next mission is to find a way to return to the TVA and capture Paradox to force him to fix both universes. However, before starting this plan, the duo decides to take a break to rest and find an abandoned diner in the middle of the desert. While eating, Deadpool comments that in his world, Logan is adored by a multitude of fans. Hearing this, Wolverine reveals that in his universe, he is hated by everyone because he made an unforgivable mistake. After a brief rest, the two allies decide to continue their journey to the border because before dying, Johnny said that was the only way out of that world. During the walk, Wolverine asks what happened to his other version, and Deadpool reveals that Logan died trying to save a girl who, like him, was created in a laboratory. The young woman, named Laura, was known by the codename X-23, but Wolverine considered her a daughter and sacrificed himself so she could be free. Suddenly, while the duo was walking through the desert, Deadpool sees a dog running toward him and is charmed by the animal. Without thinking twice, Wade decides to adopt him but soon discovers that the dog, named Dogpool, already has an owner. At this moment, Nicepool appears to retrieve his dog, and Wolverine asks which way the border is. Trying to help the strangers get back home, Nicepool decides to lend his car so they can get there faster. Before leaving, albeit reluctantly, Wade returns Dogpool to his rightful owner and gets into the car to continue the journey. During the journey, Deadpool asks Wolverine what he would like to change if the TVA agents could alter the past. Upon hearing this, Logan realizes he has been deceived, as his partner convinced him to help under false promises. Unsure if his universe can really be altered, the mutant abruptly breaks the vehicle and attacks Deadpool, furious for being tricked. Since being removed from his world against his will, Wolverine believed he could fix a great mistake from the past and bring his friends back. Now, knowing it is all an illusion, he vents his frustration on Wade. At that moment, Deadpool and Wolverine start fighting inside the car. Deadpool tries to cut him with his sword but is repeatedly pierced by Logan's claws. During the battle, they destroy the entire vehicle and splatter blood everywhere. Since both can heal instantly, the fight lasts the whole night. In the morning, they are found unconscious by another variant sent to that world. A few minutes after the rescue, Deadpool wakes up and sees Logan drinking a bottle of whiskey calmly. Suddenly, Wade hears a noise and prepares to attack but is surprised by the arrival of Elektra, who easily knocks him down. Then, Blade, the vampire hunter, and Gambit appear along with Laura. The young woman reveals that she found them in the desert and decided to take them to the hideout because she recognized Wolverine. 
Before being captured by the TVA, Laura underwent a similar experiment to Logan, having several liters of adamantium injected into her body. Thanks to Wolverine, X-23 survived, and even knowing that he is not the same Logan who saved her, she decided to repay the favor. Upon meeting the team, Deadpool asks how they got there, and Elektra reveals that all their universes were reset. Knowing that these mutants would never accept the destruction of their world without a fight, the TVA decided to send them to the Void to prevent them from causing problems. Hearing this story, Wade decides to join the team and learns that they were friends of Johnny. At that moment, Wolverine reveals that, because of Deadpool, the Human Torch was eliminated by Cassandra. However, Wade manages to turn the situation around and convinces the mutants to help him defeat Cassandra, the sister of Professor Xavier. The only way to stop the enemy is by blocking her powers with Magneto's helmet, but Cassandra destroyed it after eliminating the mutant. While telling the sad story of how they lost the most experienced member of the team, Elektra remembers that Juggernaut's helmet can also block Cassandra's powers. The only problem is that Juggernaut works for her. Deadpool devises a plan to steal the helmet and convinces everyone to join him, except Wolverine. That night, while drinking his whiskey by a campfire, Logan receives a visit from Laura. The young woman states that he reminds her a lot of her father, despite all his flaws, and says that her father was always there when she needed him. Hearing this, Logan admits he wasn't there to help the X-Men when his team needed him most. Instead of staying at the mansion with his family, Wolverine decided to follow his own path. One day, humans invaded the house and eliminated all the mutants. Hours later, Logan came back drunk from a bar and found the bodies of his friends. Since then, he has never been able to forgive himself for not being there to protect them. After hearing this sad story, Laura states that she will accompany the team to Cassandra's hideout in the morning and asks Wolverine to support them in this fight. At dawn, the team gets in the car and drives to the mutant's hideout. As they approach the fortress, Blade uses a bazooka to destroy the gates, and the team invades the enemy base. Everyone thought Wolverine wouldn't support them in the battle, but he emerges from the trunk, and his allies feel more confident seeing him. Knowing they probably won't make it out alive, all team members give their best so that Deadpool and Wolverine have a chance to get close to Cassandra. Upon seeing them, the woman claims to be surprised they returned and demonstrates her superiority by easily immobilizing them without touching them. Then, she invades Logan's mind and discovers the pain he carries for disappointing all the people he loved after finding the bodies of his friends piled up at the mansion. Wolverine became a bitter person and started eliminating humans in the hope of reducing his pain. Meanwhile, Laura faces Juggernaut in a duel and, after defeating him, manages to steal his helmet. She climbs the tower to deliver the artifact to Wolverine, but she is pulled back down and needs to throw her backpack into the room. Deadpool grabs the helmet and manages to trap Cassandra, as the woman was vulnerable while invading Logan's mind. While the duo decides what to do with her, Pyro appears and starts shooting at his boss. At this moment, he is struck by Wolverine, who starts arguing with Deadpool about Cassandra's fate. If the helmet is not removed, she will die soon, so Logan decides to remove it to save her, even knowing that the woman might eliminate him shortly after. Despite wanting to kill her, Wolverine knows that this is not what Xavier would want him to do and decides to spare Cassandra's life. As a thank you, Cassandra decides to help them return home and uses a ring she stole from one of the versions of Doctor Strange to open a portal back to Earth 1005, where Wade lives. At that moment, Alioth approaches, and Cassandra warns that the duo has only four seconds to leave the void before being devoured by the cloud. Hearing this, Deadpool and Wolverine run and cross the portal while their friends continue the battle against the mutants. Cassandra then starts interrogating Pyro to find out why he tried to kill her and discovers that he is an infiltrated agent working for Paradox, ordered to eliminate her. Learning that Deadpool and Wolverine have returned to Washington, Paradox decides to go after them but is surprised by Cassandra's arrival. The mutant invades her enemy's mind and discovers that he is building a machine to annihilate that universe. Suddenly, she expels Deadpool and Wolverine violently to continue exploring Paradox's mind. Then she decides to use this machine to destroy all universes until only the Void, the only world she governs, remains. Meanwhile, Commander B-15 receives news of an unauthorized time rip being activated on Earth-1005. After capturing Paradox to take her to the machine, Cassandra leaves the portal open, and suddenly Deadpool sees Dogpool coming out of it. Picking him up, Wade sees Nicepool running towards him, and shortly after, an enormous army of Deadpools from all existing versions crosses the portal. 
Confronted by this gang of mercenaries, Wade tries to convince them to join him, but instead, the group starts shooting. Deadpool uses Nicepool's body as a shield and, after managing to hide behind a vehicle, realizes that his doppelganger cannot regenerate and says he will take him to the hospital. However, to get to the corner, the mercenary needs to cross the army of clones and once again uses Nicepool's body as a shield. As a result, his hairy version has his brains blown out. Wade steals the gold-plated pistols that belong to Nicepool and joins Wolverine to eliminate the enemy army. Together, they start a war against dozens of mercenaries and advance on the battlefield. As they defeat the enemies, seeing some hiding inside a bus, the duo does not hesitate to enter the vehicle to eliminate them, successfully finishing them all. The bad news is that, after the battle, the Deadpools get up ready for another round since, unlike Nicepool, all of them can regenerate. When a new war is about to begin, Peter arrives on the battlefield and manages to establish peace since he is loved by all the Deadpools. While the gang celebrates Peter's arrival, Wade and Logan run to the subway and discover that Cassandra has already started using the machine. According to Paradox, the only way to stop the villain from destroying all alternative realities is by causing a short circuit in the device, which is powered by sources of matter and antimatter. To destroy the machine, it will be necessary to create a connection between the sources, but the person serving as the bridge will be completely incinerated. Despite knowing the great risk, Deadpool and Wolverine decide to continue the mission. Logan states that he will go alone from here on, but Wade believes Logan deserves a fresh start and attacks him with a fire extinguisher to push him out of the chamber. After locking the doors, Deadpool destroys one of the sources and tries to pull the power cables to connect them to the other side, but he cannot stretch far enough to reach the antimatter source. When all seemed lost, Wolverine manages to break down the door and grabs Wade's hand. At that moment, the duo uses their bodies as a bridge for energy transfer between the sources, causing a massive short circuit in the time rip. Meanwhile, their bodies are burned from the inside out, but they manage to withstand it as they share the energy overload. With the machine's explosion, Cassandra's body is instantly pulverized, and Earth-1005 narrowly escapes imminent destruction. At that moment, Commander B-15 appears and questions Paradox about the unauthorized use of a Time Ripper. In his defense, he claims that it was Cassandra who forced him to build the machine and invaded his mind to obtain information on how to use it. According to Paradox, upon realizing that that reality would be destroyed, he recruited Deadpool and Wolverine to correct the error, and they sacrificed themselves as heroes to save the universe. What Paradox did not expect was that Deadpool and Wolverine would survive the explosion and show up to debunk his entire story. Thanks to their teamwork, they managed to survive, and after discovering the truth, B-15 orders her guards to take Paradox to the TVA headquarters, where he will be judged for his actions. After the Time Ripper was destroyed, the commander verifies that the universe is regenerating and congratulates Wade and Logan on the excellent work. Even though Wolverine does not belong to that timeline, B-15 allows him to stay there to have a second chance at rebuilding his life. Noticing that the commander is in a generous mood, Deadpool asks for her help to rescue his friends who are trapped in the void because, without them, none of this would have been possible. After saving the world, Deadpool and Wolverine decide to go out for a meal, and Wade reunites with Dogpool. Since Nicepool is no longer alive, he decides to adopt the dog and takes him home along with Logan. Upon entering the apartment, the trio is greeted by Al, who is happy to know she will have two new housemates. A few days later, Wade gathers with all his new and old friends and takes the opportunity to try to make amends with Vanessa.